Metal scraps have been the bane of my existence ever since starting in Shrouded, but thankfully, the answer has been right in front of us since the start of the game. Inside of the Cinder Vault, you know, the place you started the game in, those cryo flame urn pods? Yeah, the cryo flame urn pods will net you three metal scraps apiece upon being destroyed. There are 12 urns in the room, which will net you a total of 36 metal scraps. Now you may be thinking, great, I can get 36 metal scraps, but now what? Well, you can actually infinitely farm these really easily. On a single player world, if you exit the game back to the title menu and then rejoin the world, they will all immediately respawn, allowing you to farm as much metal scraps as you need. Even if you play on a server, you can just swap over to a single player world to do some quick farming and then bring all the metal back with you after, since your character and inventory persist between worlds. What's great about this as well is that the Cinder Vault even has a fast travel point so you can immediately travel there and back to your base as needed, which saves a fair bit of travel time every time you want to go gather or go back to repair your tools. I tried to place a flame altar and workbench up there for repairs, but sadly there's no suitable building spots that I could find. Before heading out to go farm, I recommend getting some stamina consumables and the rested buff. If you're pretty early on in the game like I am, you can just infinitely get water from the well in Longkeep just down the mountain from Cinder Vault, or which is just right next to the plains where the game originally tells you to build your first base. Due to the high health pool of the urns, a single pickaxe at early game isn't going to cut it if you want to clear the whole room. A scrappy pickaxe with a quality gear skill will give you almost the exact amount that you need, but personally I keep accidentally doing one extra swing after the urn's broken from holding down left mouse button. So until better tools later in the game, you'll need multiple tools or a trip back to the workbench to do the whole room. And that's it for the metal scraps farm. It's literally been right there since the first second we all begun the game. I hope this video helps, and I'll see you in the next one.